The story begins on the night of the 22nd and 23rd of December, 1941. Yeah. Um, So-called Christmas Blitz on Manchester. Right. That particular night, which was a Sunday night, I was out with a friend of mine, Sid Morris, you remember Sid? Yeah. And uh, we'd gone to an ice cream bar in Cheetah Mill Road, Manchester, where all the youngsters and teenagers used to gather on a Sunday night. Mm. It was a sort of a, like we are now, chatting and talking. Yes. And whilst we were there, the sirens went. We took, didn't take much notice at first, till we heard the bombs dropping further down the road towards Manchester. Uh, we decided then, Sid and I, to go home. We lived in High Crumsell at the time, and we were getting a bit worried about our parents because we were separated. We were in one part and they were mm. at home in another part. And um, we started walking towards Higher Crumsell from Cheetah Mill. Mm. And we got near Cheetah Mill Library, which was on Cheetah Mill Road. And there was a big air raid shelter underneath the library. And as we were walking towards it, there was a policeman on the door. He said, get in here. I said, why? Get in here. And we went in the shelter. It was full of people. Mm. And while we sat there, you could actually hear the bombs whistling down. And the German planes had a strange drone. Yes. Can, can you recall that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you could uh, tell uh, like that. Were, yeah. And you could hear these planes overhead. And then you could hear the bombs whistling down. Anyway, we went in the shelter, we must have been in there half an hour or so, and we were getting quite worried what was happening at home. Mm. And uh, we tried to sneak out, and the policeman stopped us. He said, where are you going? I said, we're going home. He said, we only came in because it was getting a bit hot outside. He said, well, it's getting a bloody sight hotter now. Stay where you are. <laughs> that was perfectly true. Anyway, eventually we managed to sneak out mm -hmm. and get home to our parents. Mm -hmm. But as a result of that air raid, there was an air raid on the 22nd and 23rd mm -hmm. of December. But, and they, they came again on the 23rd and 24th, which was Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. And there came a, a, a total of 700 planes overhead dropping tons and tons mm. of bombs and as a result there was over 750 people killed in manchester and 2000 or oh, sorry 7500 injured mm. on those particular nights yeah, yeah. That, that's that's the mm. story hi michelle yeah mm. wow and did you um was it was any of your where you lived was was the damage sustained there or was it mainly central manchester no, it, it, uh, some of the bombs dropped quite near, actually. It was um, a Jewish family on Catline, Catherine Road off Middleton Road, Crumsall. A bomb, unfortunately, dropped on their house and killed the whole family. Um, I was working at the time, I was working in the accounts office of William Timson's, the shoe people. Oh, and yeah. They had a big warehouse in Great Juicy Street, and I was working there. And there was a girl who worked in the warehouse called Julia, and she never turned up that morning when we went back to work. And we heard later she'd been killed in the blitz. Mm -hmm. People just disappeared yeah, like that. Right, yeah. They just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And it took a while for the news to come through that they died in the blitz. Yeah. And, uh, but what happened was, when I went to work after the blitz, I was working in the accounts office, and when we went to work, all the windows had been blown out in the building mm. because there was two buildings there on either side of Great Juicy Street. One had been totally demolished and it, where I was working was badly damaged. And we had to clean everything up before we could start work. All the windows had been blown out mm. and everything. And, uh, but that was the, yeah. my recollections. Yeah, I can remember that Christmas and the Manchester Blitz. 
But the, where I now lived in Milnor, it was a, it was a, a cow's legs, and it was a bit raised up, you know, and you could see all the flames. You could see yeah. the all the flames yeah. in Manchester. You, you could. Mm -hmm. You could. Yeah, you could see Lord. I could. Uh, yeah, I, went, I can yeah. remember that. Why yeah, they didn't they stand, stand, up, stand up, up back long? Mm -hmm. And you could see all the the yeah. uh, searchlights, mm -hmm. you know, and the yeah, you were all lit up. Yeah, my dad had put an Anderson shelter in the bottom of the garden. Yeah. And it was my job to carry a little flock bed, you know, <laughs> oh, yes. uh, one of my sisters yeah. who would be um, uh, six years younger than me, next one. Yeah. And um, it was my job to carry her bedding across to this shelter. And um, I must have been shaking a bit, you know, because there was so much noise and everything going on. And um, my mother and dad had been back with some forwards. And um, <laughs> I dropped this flock bed and it split. Oh, dear. And all we could hear the following morning was people going to work and laughing because the, the, the lawn was full of these flocks. <laughs> 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 yeah, I always remember that. And whilst you were doing that, Les, what? whilst you were actually doing that in December, I was only eight year old then, and we lived in Norden, which was a small village, yeah. you know, high up. That's right. And that, those nights, my mum was taking, going to see my grandma, who lived in a place called Woodhouse Lane. So we walked up Woodhouse Lane to, with me, just myself and my mum. And all we could see was these big flames and mm. big flares and crashes yeah. going up, dropping off to Manchester. Yes. Yeah. We, were, we were 12 miles away, mm. yeah. but you could see it all. You could, there, yeah. there was a red glow in the sky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The sky was absolutely blood red. It was, yeah. Yes, it with was. all the buildings that were burning. Because oh, yeah. yeah, my dad was in a reserved occupation, so he didn't get called up. But he was in the, he joined the ARP, Urin. And they had rescued, it's part of the ARP, they had a rescue section yes. who dug people out of the buildings that mm. had been bombed. Yes, they did. Mm. Yeah. And I think one of the hardest jobs during the war, when I, I mean, I know I was in the forces and that later, mm. but I admire the firemen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they were. They were Trying mm. to put mm. fires out in buildings and there was bombs dropping all around them yes. as they put in the fire pit. And mm. I, I, I admired yeah. them. Yeah. I thought, there's the heroes there mm. to carry on yeah. doing the job yeah. they paid for and they're still getting bombed. Yeah. Mm. I can remember going on the tram with my grandma um, from Shaw and into Manchester down Oldham Road and the tram was just about getting through. This was like a week or two after, and um, you could see bathrooms hanging out of the walls, you know. Yeah. Because oh. yes. so, yeah. um, yeah. all that area was very badly. That's right. Yeah. yeah and for some strange reason, they dropped a couple of bombs in Sudden. Yeah, they did. In where? Sudden. 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 Yeah. 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 We don't know why, but there were a couple of bombs dropped there. Yeah, wasn't there a factory there, there was there? During the daytime, it's the mm. same time I was going, going up the road, going to school on lunchtime, and a German aircraft flew mm. right over the top of us. A lot of people were like, you just mm. looked up and you could, very, you could see the pilot. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It, it, that was your incident. Yeah. They, they dropped a bomb yeah. near Car Wood. I don't know why, it was in the field. Yeah. It, 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 was, it, was a, it was a long bomb. I don't know what it must have been, wasn't it? Because they were one up. No, I didn't work there. That's where I was, yeah. 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 Yeah, mm. oh, that's where I was in there. You could see this plane could fly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, this ha this to... happened to Delia, something similar, didn't it? Yes, I was walking mm. to school. It was in the paper later on. Yeah. And um, we had this bomber come across. Well, we didn't know it was a bomber because we hadn't had much. We were a little bit out of the... You were in, you were in the cottage, right? Yes, yeah. away from Manchester, yes, really. Yes. And um, we heard it come down and it, it started to splatter thing. Yeah. 
if they did machine with the machine gun in, yeah. people in the street, I don't, can you recall that? Yes, yes. The, it was actually machine gun yes, people did. walking yes, about in the street. But I don't yeah. think they were really, because when when they went, we were looking for the, the little... We were uh, looking for shrapnel. Shrapnel, <laughs> and we couldn't find any. And, um, but I remember that, we were going to school and it... Yeah. They all dropped down just like they told us. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they told us if anything happens like that, throw yourself on the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, they still do it, don't they? These yeah. horrible things that are happening in the Middle yes. East. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 